there will not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And saviors, which are judges, shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the mount, authority government of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And what this is, what he's foretelling is the destruction of this Esau kingdom. This, this Edomite domination of the story the last days is going to be destroyed. Uh, you know, today we have many claiming to be Jews, uh, but are not Jews and are liars. Uh, they are the church of Satan, the synagogue of Satan, and are worshippers and followers of Satan. You know, what are they doing today? They're conquering the world for the Antichrist to rule from Jerusalem. In every nation, in every major event, the Edomite Jews have been behind it. And although, although these Edomite Jews dominate Israel today, uh, there are a real remnant of bloodline Jews there as well. Uh, these are the ones the Lord will protect during the Great Tribulation. You know, if you look at America today, who is running the White House? You know, it's the Edomite Jews and the sons of Cain. Who was arrested for treason during World War II by Congress for trading with the enemy? Prescott Bush. Who announced the formation of the New World Order in America? His son, George Bush Sr. Who was president of America today? George Bush Jr. Now, what do the Bushes have in common with Edomite Jews? They are all part of the serpent seed line of the Illuminati. The Illuminati are at the top of two particular races of people known as the Edomite Jews and the sons of Cain. And it goes all the way to the top where the Illuminati rules directly beneath the Jesuits. The Jesuits answer directly to the Black Pope. Uh, the Black Pope position is a real power position in the Vatican as opposed to the White Pope. Uh, most think it is the Pope who rules from the Vatican. You know, he may reside there, but the real power in the Vatican is hidden, and it's the position known as the Black Pope. You know, black meaning hidden or secret. Today, Hans von Kovenbach holds the title of the Black Pope, and he is second to none on this earth in establishing Satan's rise to power. Uh, he is literally Satan's right-hand man. So what do we have today? We have the false Jews in Israel being called real Jews, and the real Jews not even knowing who they are. Uh, we are being told and led to believe by the churches today that Satan's chosen are Yahweh's chosen people. You know, and that's what this whole mess of Zionism is, over, over, you know, um, Zionism doctrines in the churches today. You know, the Orthodox, the Reformed, and the Messianic Jews disown the Jews running Zionism in Israel today. Not only are they Edomite Jews, but they are also known as the Khazar Jews as well. You know, in 692 A.D., the Khazar Kingdom was established. And these were people that had adopted Judaism as their official religion because of the real Jews that lived among them and had proselytized them. And from that point on, they passed themselves off as real Jews with a right to Palestine as their homeland. They are not lovers of Yahweh, but haters of him. They are of the same ancestry of Esau, whom the Lord hated. The offspring of the serpents, of whom the Lord told them straight out, were of their father the devil. Uh, it was those of this seed line that instigated his crucifixion. It was this seed line that became uh, known what we know as the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You know, they had infiltrated as the Pharisees in Jesus' era and still dominate the Jewish nation today. Uh, and these are the ones the churches believe are the chosen ones of the Lord. You know, if they, died, if they did five minutes of research into Israel today, they would realize their error. Instead, they keep recycling errors and falsehoods week after week, month after month, year after year. You know, we are told by our churches that we must support Israel or the Lord will bring his judgment on this nation when it is in fact that we are supporting him that, his, that he's bringing his judgment on this nation. You know, Israel today is the prophecy of evil figs of Jeremiah chapters 21 to 24 and the evil fig tree that Yahweh cursed. He wasn't cursing his own people, but those he hates, the serpent seed lions of Esau and Cain. Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if he shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. You know, mountain is often symbolic of government or authority. Uh, the evil fig tree is the false Jews, the chosen people of Satan. He's telling us to rid the earth of the authority of the Edomites and certainly not to support them. Uh, but what are we doing? We're sending millions of dollars and financial aid and weapons to these Pharisees and Sadducees and, and Canaanite and Satan seed yearly. Uh, do you see the irony now? Do you see why judgment is coming to America, folks? If the Edomites are the ones inhabiting Israel today and the ones who call themselves Jews and are not, uh, who and where are the real Jews? They're scattered. And America is uh, part of Israel. We are the tribes of Israel scattered all over this country, 
uh, along with the other nations here. Uh, the Jews of old were not dark-skinned people. Noah was platinum blonde with blue eyes. David was ruddy with red hair. Ruddy meaning he had flushed cheeks. He could blush. Dark-skinned people don't blush. Neither are they born with blonde or red hair. Now, Esau is described as ruddy and hairy. The Israelites back then were a white race. Uh, and who were the white races today? I'm not saying this to be racist, folks. I'm just trying to tell you uh, how it is and how it was. And how, you know, It was Noah's grandson, Canaan, from Ham, who was the father of the darkest-skinned races, even the Arab races of today. Sheba and Deden were linked to Ham through his son, Canaan. And if you read in Ezekiel 37, uh, the Jews are not in the land of Israel today. They will not be regathered into the land. They will not be until the Lord returns. I'm not saying all. Oh, I'm just saying we know already that there is a remnant of real uh, Israelites there today. But the ones in power, the ones who dominate Israel today, are not the real Jews. They are the fake ones. Uh, so the whole facade of Israel returning to their land in the last days is not true, folks. When the Lord returns, he will regather his people from the ends of the earth to the land of Israel, and not until then. Uh, so who are the ones that are, that are there now? They're the imposters. You know, haven't you ever wondered why Yahweh hated Esau before he was even born? Why would the Lord make such a statement? Uh, there was many things that the Lord hates, and Esau was one of them because he hated the serpent's seed, and he knew what Esau was going to do. Uh, the Lord gave me, had given me a, a specific message on this whole thing. Quite a while ago, I want to uh, read that. He said to me, Daughter, the mixture of my children with the serpent seed was something I allowed to serve my own purposes, just as I allowed Satan to defile my garden, I allowed him to defile my people. The way to truth and righteousness is through me. It always has been, and it has not changed. My priests served the people. They did not sanctify them or make them whole. I alone can do that. Today's priests seek to save which they cannot. They lead my people to errors and doctrines of man that cannot save them, nor do they honor or please me. Tell them I am the door, there is no other. Those who want me must walk through my door to me. There is no other way. They worship Baal and call him their God, thinking I am the one they worship. My judgment will come on this carnal and wicked system of religion. It is not of me. Religion profits man. Worship and sacrifice profits me. Sacrifice the cares and wants of this world for the cares and wants in me only, and you will never be unsatisfied. I can give you your heart's desires. This world cannot fulfill you. This world is an endless form of greed and want. Never satisfy. It waxes worse and worse, evil and more evil. And he, and he went on, he said, Yes, Mithra has hidden through the ages behind every god, and he will ultimately rise again to counterfeit me and my word. I will reveal this to you because you seek my face. You seek me. And I will reveal great things to you because you are humble and faithful. I love you, child. Tell them the world had run its course. It's almost time for all the prophecies of old to be fulfilled. Many will, uh, many will never be ready, but stay in me, for I have many things for you to accomplish before the time. Time is short. Daily seek me so I can use you. I have shown you many things in just a short amount of time. I will show you even more. Uh, you know, so not only, uh, folks, do we have the sons of Cain running the corporations, governments, and secret societies that govern most of those uh, we have the fallen angels still trying to breed with mankind, just as in the days of Noah. You know, right now there are repti reptilians in the White House, draconians in the Vatican, and greys in our skies abducting people around the world to use in breeding experiments, and for many, even eating them. You know, measures our government has agreed to cooperate with uh, these evil, twisted beings to keep things silent, and they've funded disinformation, discredited campaigns, projects, magazines, and organizations to keep the truth from ever being discovered, which is why today the official denial of the existence of UFOs and aliens is, in fact, uh, the unofficial denial. In exchange, they have reaped alien technology through black operations and have carved out the Earth's underground joint human and alien bases where this exchange of technology and learning takes place, all funded by the taxpayers. You know, the Bible says they will mingle themselves with the seed of men. And also in Daniel, we are warned of iron mixed with miry clay that will not cling to one another. It is impossible for those who, for those created and made in God's image to cling to those who simply want to destroy them.